Welcome to WISIS Forum 2018. I'm delighted to be joined by Ms. Gitanjali Shah, who is WISIS coordinator. Gitanjali, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Charlotte. It's a pleasure. So Gitanjali, this year marks a milestone. It's been 15 years since the start of the first phase of uh, WISIS and uh, the implementation of the Geneva Plan of Action. Mm -hmm. So what can you tell us about uh, the beginning of WISIS Forum and what it's turned into? Yes, thank you, Charlotte. Actually, uh, WISIS Forum is part of the WISIS process, which, which you rightly said that uh, it initiated in 2003. Uh, there were two summits, one in 2003 and uh, the other one in 2005. And uh, in 2009, the cluster of WISIS related ev events, they converted into the WISIS Forum. The idea was to provide a just and equal platform for all stakeholders to get together, to share ideas, to foster partnerships, to showcase their success stories. And in 2009, we started with uh, you know around uh, 800 participants. There were some ministers, uh, people. Uh, there were UN agencies, of course, because the commitment of UN agencies is crucial for the business process. Um, however, uh, as you can see over the years it's evolved into an event uh, the leading ICT for development event where uh, this year we have welcomed 2,500 registered participants uh, you saw the commitment uh, from uh, the UN Secretary General the Deputy Secretary General of the UN was here um, uh, all the UN agency heads uh, were well represented so it's evolved into this uh, platform which all stakeholders identify as the leading platform for ICT for sustainable development. So I have mentioned that it's been 15 years, so that's 15 forums to, uh, well not 15 forums to organise. How many forums have been taking place since the uh, launch of the first phase of, of WISIS? I would say around seven because we started in 2009, as I said. Uh, it, uh, so we must remember that WISIS Forum is a part of the WISIS process, you know, their UN processes. Uh, and uh, the main purpose, uh, uh, main uh, effort from our side as UN agencies and stakeholders since 2014 has been to align the WISIS process with the uh, 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Hence, uh, you will see at the WISIS Forum, uh, all the 250 workshops are aligned to the sustainable goals, uh, development goals and the WISIS action lines. Uh, anything that you see has an outcome which clearly shows the linkages between the WISIS action lines and the sustainable development goals. So what is the expected outcome for this year's forum then? Uh, this year, Charlotte, we made an effort to engage with the youth. Uh, because we wanted to uh, showcase that the UN processes add value to the youth as well, you know, and their commands and their engagement is very valuable for us. There was a big effort to showcase new technologies and ICT solutions. Uh, especially for development. So drones for social development, VR for good. Uh, you did see in the exhibition space, we had a robot cutting the, uh, you know, bringing the scissors. And that robot actually, it's planned that uh, would help in disaster relief in bringing water to areas where it's not easily available. So all these new technologies and their applications uh, for sustainable development, for education, for food, for water, uh, and basically to contribute to development efforts worldwide. What's interesting about WISIS Forum is that it's one of the only UN frameworks that has actually managed to retain its spirits. Yes, Charlotte, we are very proud about that because uh, the, uh, uh, the stakeholders have a commitment towards this process. And uh, you will see that it's very visible. Everybody feels a bit of an ownership towards the process. Uh, and they feel their responsibility to contribute to it as well. So whether it be the civil society, private sector, academia, technical community, governments or UN agencies, they make their uh, efforts and they play their roles. Kitanjali Shah, thank you very much. Thank you.